everyone, Josh here with Frame Voyager at NAB 2022. And he brought me in because I know audio and he just, he, he does not know audio. And we had quite a few interesting conversations. Uh, first off, we stopped by the Sure booth and uh, this is how that went. So I'm here with John from Sure, um, and he has some toys he's gonna show us. So many things at NAB with our friends here from Frame Voyager. Frame Voyager. <laughs> <laughs> so many toys with our friends from Frame Voyager to show off here. So we have a whole bunch of great new audio solutions for, for podcasters, for videographers, for uh, film and TV industry, and uh, many audio solutions to talk to. So first off being our wireless, our new wireless systems on Action Digital, we have a new portable uh, dual channel receiver for our Action Digital wireless system. So if you're not familiar with Action Digital, it's our, our premium wireless solution uh, that has full, full integration of Dante, networking, backlink control of all your transmitters through a process, proprietary process called Showlink. And now we have a dual channel uh, wireless receiver for bags and for carts. Uh, full, full integration into a lot of the recorders out there with sound devices and such, such like that. And uh, when you pair it with our awesome with our tiny micro body back transmitters, that really is the end all be all for film and TV production. Uh, on Perfect. the camera side, we got we also have a plug on transmitter that's fairly new as well that works on Action Digital. So we have some great shotguns, we have some great headphones. We got our mannequin here, Wally, I think is his name. Okay. Uh, and he's showcasing our VP89 shotgun with uh, our, our AD3 plug on transmitter. Okay. Uh, moving right along into more microphone technology, this is new microphone head, the KSM 11. Yeah, I've uh, heard a little bit about it. Yeah, the KSM 11 is a new condenser, premium condenser head for a really the best clarity in vocal production uh, for the top artists in the world. Okay. And, and also a lot of great feedback on this product and how great it translates on live streams okay. and, and broadcast. Wow. Uh, the clarity that they're getting in the truck is uh, well deserved and appreciated. Awesome. So this is the KSM 11, uh, also now shipping uh, and brand new to the show. Okay. So what's going on over here? Over here we got a whole, whole rig, a whole cart rig. Uh, we've got a couple carts at the show here today. But uh, we got our ADX 5D dual transmitters. This is our quad receiver Okay. Um, also. And everything's Dante networked into the Anton Bauer. Um, and then networking across everything with wireless workbench. So it's our control monitoring software. So everything can be at your fingertips in terms of monitoring and controlling all your wireless transmitters. And the best part is that guy right there. That's the Showlink access point, which remotely controls any of our ADX transmitters. So you can control frequency gain, mute, RF on and off. You never have to find your talents. You never have to track them down. You don't have to dig in their shirts to, to change the setting yep. in a body pack. You yep. can do it with the click of a button on an iPad. Wow. Uh, and deploy all That's... your frequencies without syncing anything. Uh, one click button, do all your coordination through Workbench, deploy it to all your receivers and your transmitters at the same time. Okay. And uh, completely frees you from, uh, you know, going through menus and digging through frequencies on site. Okay. That's, that would be very helpful. It is very helpful. <laughs> Axiom Digital is the way to go. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot, of, a lot of the key components now to make sure that your cart and your bags and all the lobs and headsets and shotguns and plug ins we got all the solutions for you for the, for the best uh, film and TV broadcast stuff on the Awesome. Well, thank you for showing us, John. My pleasure. So he showed off that really cool microphone, the KSM 11. That's kind of their new thing that they have coming out. Um, and we turned around from that booth and realized we were right next to DPA. And so DPA actually has a microphone on Mars, but I'm gonna let them tell you about that. So I'm here with Chris from DPA, um, and he has some mics that looks like it underwater. Yes. And, <laughs> and Lego guys, by the way. Oh, perfect. Uh, <laughs> we love Legos. We all, we all love, who doesn't love Legos? Um, no, we're, we're basically showing off um, the durability of, of the microphone. So okay. we make a lot of small little miniature microphones that clip on people's ties, lapel mics, hidden underneath clothing yeah. for TV and film and stuff like that. Um, we're, we're a very high-end microphone manufacturer, and a lot of times I think people associate high-end expensive with it, it's not going to hold up. Yeah. Um, and we're kind of showing people that these things are made to take a beating. A, they sound good, but B, you can use them in extreme conditions. They're waterproof, IP58 rated, which is the best IP rating for a miniature microphone on okay. the market. Uh, extreme temperature conditions, cold, hot. We have stuff in Antarctica. We have stuff in the desert. 
I mean, a lot of the major motion pictures that are made today are made with TPA microphones of okay. some sort, whether it's um, a lav mic like this or whether it's one of our boom mics. Um, and I mean, the fact that our larger capsule mics are being used on the Mars rover. Okay. There's probably no more extreme conditions than the surface of Mars. Just uh, a little bit. I've yeah, never been there, but I'm told that it's not good. Um, but I mean, we have a standard off the shelf product microphone that's just, it's, it's attached onto the side of the rover. It's okay. this, this setup right here. There we go. That's on the side of the rover, no enclosure, out in the elements, yeah. survive the, the the whole trip, and it's working and it's transmitting audio to us, you know, uh, to not to us, to NASA. Okay. Um, it's not getting it to me, um, and it's plugged into one of our small little um, uh, miniature preamps that's inside of the rover. Okay. So I mean, we're trying to show people that we can like, miking up somebody and having a little bit of water on the mic for us, it's not a problem. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's that's really cool. Yeah. So, and again, Legos are fun, why not? I, we, got to, yes. we got to spend a week building this thing with Legos. How packed could it be? I, yeah. A week? Well, all right, it, we, we stretched it out a little bit. <laughs> all right, they probably could have taken it a day, but it's fun to play with Legos. So. It's awesome to play with Legos, I can, yep. So DPA is a really good brand of microphone. Uh, they're very durable. They're kind of the industry standard when it comes to a lot of production houses. Uh, they're used in TV and film, as well as documentaries, uh, stage performances, a lot of different areas. Loved having a conversation with them, um, and a little later on, we found a really small uh, microphone company that makes some boutique mics. The company was Soyuz, and uh, this is kind of how that went. Well, hold on, I'm here with David with um, Tula, um, and they have some mics at NAB. So what, what do you have with you today? Well, the, as far as Tula goes, we have the Tula mic, okay. which is a USB microphone and mobile recorder that can record on its own for 12 hours with its own internal battery and memory. Okay. It has a unique noise reduction algorithm that's embedded in the chip from a Swedish company called Klevgrand. Okay. That if you long press the NC button without speaking... Wait, is it on? Oh, it's not on. It will learn the environment and suppress it. Okay. So, and the Tula records both a noise reduced file and a raw file, so you can choose later which one you want. Awesome. Uh, by default, it's in cardioid, it also works in Omni, and it also has an input for a lavalier clip on microphone. Wow. All right. So I uh, see so you have some other things sitting yeah. out for us. What, um, yeah, this what is the these? this is our other brand. It's called Soyuz Microphone. Okay. It's a high-end recording uh, brand. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the 0172, okay. which is our flagship microphone. It's yeah. a tube microphone. Uh, works with the power supply. We make tube and FET versions of most of our microphones. Okay. So the one that's hooked up over there is the FET. It's called okay. the 017 FET. That's our flagship mic. This is the bomblet. Okay. which is a very unique microphone. It has a capsule unlike any other. It was, uh, it was uh, a, a, an AKG CK12 capsule that was redesigned by Lomo, a Russian okay. company, and then yeah. further redesigned by us uh, wow. for this. So it's very unique, really nice all-around mic, exceptionally good on kick drum and bass cabinets. Okay. But great, great for, for everything. This is the 13 series, the 13 FETs. We okay. also make a tube version of these. Uh, they're great instrument mics, drum overheads, guitars, violins, that type of thing. A lot of people have been using them on sets as well, okay. in, instead of shotgun mics, using uh, this, you know, these come off, and this is cardioid. Okay. We make hypercardioid and omni versions as well. Oh, so with perfect. a hypercardioid, it's really good for yeah. that type of thing. Yeah, that's a really nice looking microphone. Thanks, yeah. So this is the launcher. Okay. This is the, the big version. <laughs> All right. But, so the launcher was designed to work with uh, Dynamic mics primarily, okay. Ruben mics as well, but dynamic mics, especially ones that have low gain, like the SM7B, right. which is you know notoriously uh, low gain mic. And it boosts it by 26 dB, but unlike some of the other breakout boxes that boost gain, we didn't want it to be clean, transparent gain. Right. We wanted it to have a little special something, like okay. like back in the day when you'd go through a, an old Neve desk, an yeah. old Neve board. So we worked for two years on this. like iteration after iteration after iteration until we got it to a place that we thought sounded really okay. good and it's become very popular. Awesome. This is the Launcher Deluxe. This is a brand new product. Okay. It's obviously a stereo version. 
but it has a couple different modes. So it'll okay. work just like the launcher, but it'll also work in a different mode that will pass phantom power. So you can use it with, uh, like for example, K uh, KM184s, like yeah. Neumanns, that are transformerless. Yeah. You can pass them through here and it'll, you'll get the nice transformer color okay. from, from here. You can pass mixes through here, you can run synths through it, so it's sort of a more all-around version of the launcher. Wow, okay. And the fact that stereo can help with some things. Yeah. 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 Um, running it through the same box. We had a great conversation with them. Some of the other stuff that we got to see but didn't get on camera is we talked to some people from Cedar Audio who do adaptive noise reduction in live production. It's phenomenal. Uh, we also talked with the people from Sennheiser about their microphones, Neumann, uh, and a lot of other things. So if you don't know, I have a channel called Digetic Audio. You can check me out over there. I go into more depth on some of the stuff that we have seen at NAB, but as always, you can catch us later.